morning. So I've just come down from Warboys, um, gone through St Ives, down through Fenton and Piddley, <coughs> down the main St Ives Road, come through the town here, up onto the bridge, past the chapel that I mentioned the other day, over the River Grey Ooze. It's kind of looking down towards um, Huntingdon Way, that way, and then the other way is down towards Cambridge. So Cambridge is over that way. So yeah, so I'm by the chapel here um, on the bridge. I'm heading that way down there and then I'm going to head over towards Fence Stanton, through Fence Stanton towards Hilton. Um, and then from Hilton along towards uh, Boxworth, up over the A14, and then head up towards Swayze. Um, trying to think where it goes. Uh, yeah, Swayze, and then up to Over, and then from Over to Willingham, Willingham along the river um, to Erith and then here if Somersham, Somersham Fenton um, or Somersham Piddly, Piddly Fenton and then back to Warboys so it's a bit of a, a kind of mackerel sky at the moment if you can see that up there, sun's just coming up over there by the church um, it is a bit of a mottled sky at the moment but it is due to, for some, we are due for some sunny spells so yeah, it should be a nice ride. I think it's about 35 miles. So I will get back on the bike. I'm going to have a quick drink and then I will see you later. I'll see you in a bit. the A14 back there We're heading down to Hilton and I don't know if you can see just here I will put a picture up just now there's hundreds of geese in this field you might even be able to hear them I'm saying that they've just stopped making a noise but yeah I thought they were well I don't know, I don't know what, they, what I thought they were I, mean, I just thought they were big seagulls or something but probably makes me sound a bit daft but yeah no there's geese hundreds of them so don't know why they find that field so interesting there is a combine harvester over there so i think the farmers obviously be doing something in there and maybe they may, may just be feeding on the seeds or something i don't know or the grain that's left in the field but yeah quite bizarre so yeah, so I've just come through Fen Stanton, um, went under the underpass, under the A14, and then over the bridge over the A14. So coming down now through to Hilton, now I'm going to turn left onto the, the Papworth Road and then turn off that and go up to Boxworth and Ellsworth or Ellsworth and Boxworth I can't actually remember which one comes first so and then I'll be heading back up over the A14 oh god again um, on what looks to be quite a funky bridge so I'm quite oddly looking forward to that so I should be able to get some good pictures up there um, yeah and then that takes me over to Swayze and then home so shouldn't be out too long it's just coming up for five to seven 
so it was another early start again today um, I was hoping it was going to be less cloudy because when I did get up this morning um, certainly when Mrs B went to work the sky was really red it was really dark you know it looked, looked like it was going to be an absolutely stunning sunrise but in the short space of time it took me to get ready and get out on the bike as you'd have probably seen as I come off the estate you couldn't really see much of the sun it was just a few little kind of uh, little shimmers beneath the clouds so yeah so I'll let you go I will probably catch you again probably up in Boxworth I think um, I don't really know that area too well I've driven through there a few times when I used to work in Cambridge but yeah I'd, I'll um, I'll get up there and then I'll have a chat with you again once I'm up there so I will put you probably put you on stem cam for the moment to get up to Boxworth it is a slight slight rise up there nothing too dramatic as there isn't anything that dramatic in this area but um, yeah so I will stop talking and I'll let you enjoy some of the scenery so I will see you in a bit see you in a bit It's just 
gone eight in the morning, it's about ten past eight at the moment. Uh, 23 miles in, so it's a relatively short ride, in, certainly in comparison to the ones I've been doing lately. Um, so I'm heading down towards Willingham. I'm going to turn left at Willingham and then head up to Rearwith on the River Road, which is probably going to be a little bit busy this time of day, but uh, hopefully it'll, they'll be going kind of down towards Cambridge as opposed to going up towards Rearwith the way I'm going to be going. So quite fresh this morning I've taken the coat off because I was getting a bit hot but it's as you can see it's still pretty cloudy so I think the sun's disappeared for the day not that it's really come out today anyway um, so yeah so I'll head to Willingham um, probably get a few little clips going up the river road probably put it on chest cam um, and then I will see you at Erith Bridge. So I will see you in a bit. got to Erith Bridge as you can tell by the, by the oh, blimey I've lost my bag over the back then um, as you can tell by the noise it's, it's the traffic's really picked up now um, I've just come up from Willingham gonna head down that way um, to kind of turn right out of, out of Erith up towards Cone and then up through Somersham and back home that way um, so it's been a really good ride actually it's it's the wind is starting to pick up now although it's, it's coming from that direction now so it should be a bit of a tailwind most of the way home anyway so um but yeah it's uh i don't know what you can hear of me over the, all this noise there's a big lorry coming down now so i will say goodbye and i will catch you in a bit i'll see you in a bit
coffee. Um, looks like the sun's going to be out in a bit. It's, uh, looks like the clouds are kind of breaking up a bit, a bit there. Um, yeah, it's a good good ride. Um, I'd probably, if I was going to do it again, I'd probably do it a bit later in the day because it was on some pretty main roads and um, that time in the morning there's a lot of traffic about and I think people, even in this day and age, people still haven't got the ability to drive safely past the bike. Uh, so there were a couple of cars that um, got really close actually. I mean, I was kind of, I mean, I've, I've, with all the years I've been cycling, I'm kind of used to it by now, but it still um, kind of makes you a bit nervous when it happens. But um, so yeah, it was it was exactly 35 miles. Um, but yeah, good route. Um, hopefully got some good pictures and some good good video. Um, really like the bridge. I was really oddly impressed with that bridge um, from a photographic perspective. Could have got some really good shots from on there. And ho hopefully I did, and hopefully I got some good video as well. But um, I mean, I, I kind of like architecture like that. I think it looks really good against the sky, and and uh, you know, hopefully you've seen that in some of the pictures. Um, but also, as I was coming down uh that way coming down through fenton or on the um dip from piddly down to fenton um the google i'm sure it was the google band with all the four cameras on the top went past so i'll have to um keep an eye out on google earth and see if that's uploaded because uh i'll get some screenshots and maybe put them in some uh future videos so yeah, I'm gonna have a coffee, um, gonna have a clean up, and then uh, plan the next ride. And I'll um, I'll put the summary on after this. So um, thanks again for watching, and I will see you on the next video. So I'll catch you in a bit. So looking at this morning's route, we started at, if I just zoom in, started at Warboys, uh, went all the way down through Fenton and through to Pidley, where I turned down Pidley Sheep Lane and then took a right on towards, up towards the Heath Road and carried on down into St Ives. So I kind of ducked down sort of around the industrial estate and then turned into town up onto the bridge. So the bridge over the river Great Ooze there. And then went along Bridge Road, turned left at the bottom there and then headed out towards Fen Stanton. So all the way there and then just at that point there as well went under the underpass under the A14 and then out towards Hilton so over the again over the A14 out onto the main road and then quick left up towards Boxworth, which is there, and then swung it round and headed up again, back up towards the A14, which was where that funky old bridge was there. So went over the bridge, carried on the road here to Over, which is here somewhere, and then threw over, turned out and then went along to uh, Willingham. So I kind of turned right, that's over there. So turned right there and then went along through to Willingham, turned left and then got on the river road all the way up to Erith. So let's just zoom out a little bit. So up to Erith Lock, which is there. 
So I stopped on the bridge there and then jumped back on, headed into Earwith, turned right at Earwith, out through Cone, which is kind of here. So through Cone, all the way up through to Summersham, and then that little pool there up towards Piddley, and then turn right back down through Fenton, and then back down to Warboys. So numbers wise, it was exactly 35 miles, just over two and a half hours riding time, average speed of 13.6 miles an hour. So it wasn't brilliantly quick and it was as flat as anything. There were a few little bumps there, but nothing, nothing too dramatic. Um, it was a really good ride. As I said, it was really busy, but those roads are quite busy roads anyway. So if I do do that route again, which I will do, um, I'll probably do it on a Sunday morning or do it a little bit later in the day when, when the traffic's died down a little bit. But, um, but yeah, I'm not sure where I'm going to go next, but wherever I do, I'll be sure to take you with me yet again. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you in a bit.